Shabbat Shalom. How are you? It is Saturday. Um, I want to talk to you about some mineral supplements. Uh, I was just reading a little while ago about mang manganese and selenium. And, you know, we need these certain elements uh, uh, within our body in order for the, bl the blood to regulate and to work properly. And so what I want to talk to you about is what does it mean uh, when we talk about electrolytes? Well, electrolytes are electromagnetically charged minerals that have either have a positive or a negative charge. And so as they travel through your blood, they literally are going around like little magnets picking up every little metal shard of debris, whether it be nitrogenous waste or whether it be lactic acid, but the byproducts from your activities. And so what we want to do is always make sure that our diets nutritionally contain enough electrolytes to always uh, sustain normalcy within our body and to allow our bodies to produce uh, blood, new blood cells, red blood cells, white blood cells, uh, all of this just basically maintaining normalcy or what uh, clinically is called homeostasis. So uh, minerals, and when we talk about electrolytes, electrolytes and minerals, minerals, electrolytes, it's the same, it's synonymous. So when we're talking about um, magnesium or chloride, sodium or potassium, these are a electrolyte mineral that your body usually gets through your diet, whether it be green vegetables or fruits, or whether it be um, uh, fish, uh, chicken, beef, and of course then you're looking at are, are they grass-fed beef, grass-fed, so forth. Are they nutritionally well or were they you know, raised in a, uh, a feedlot, which isn't exactly the most healthy uh, way to raise cattle. Uh, we want to try to look at our nutrition and say that the food that I put within this body, this body is my vehicle. I'm stuck with this. Well, I'm not stuck with it. I'm glad that I got it. I'm grateful to God that I've got it. But this is my vehicle for the rest of my life. So if I've torn it apart, I've got to find a way to restore it. And I believe that God's provided that. But what, I, what would you think if I told you that diabetes is primarily the result of mineral deficiencies from prolonged diuretic use, prolonged alcohol prolonged soda waters, prolonged diet soda waters, you think are not bad for you. There, there's some really, they all have bad attributes. And the number one is that it's a diuretic. It leaches out your mineral content and you've got to replace it, but no one ever makes a concerted effort to replace it. Now, while I strongly urge you to discontinue the usage of such things as alcohol or uh, a lot of caffeine, you know, using that stuff in moderation is understandable. Um, I personally don't, uh, but I'm not getting into all of that. It's the, the, the key is, is that you live healthy. So let's say uh, you've got somebody, if you're going to drink a beer, if you're going to drink a soda, shouldn't you be putting some minerals back in it? Soda waters and beers today are all processed with water that's run through a reverse osmosis filter that's done to preserve the machinery from calcification and so forth, like hard water deposits. So what we're doing now is we're all consuming vast quantities of water that's been stripped clean of all of its mineral content. Therefore, our bodies are becoming more and more mineral deficient, hence the multitude of maladies that we suffer to today in America. Things like diabetes is a, a loss of uh, chromium, selenium, boron, zinc, and manganese. You need to have those five primary minerals in order for your body to be able to maintain its insulin levels and blood sugar levels. If you have a history or a past of drinking too much bottled water even, which is reverse osmosis, empty water, it's dead. It won't light my little lamp test. It doesn't have enough minerals in it to conduct the electricity uh, less than a half an inch apart in a solution of water. So until we put our uh, drops in that, uh, it doesn't light the lamp. I'll be showing those videos. Look for my lamp test uh, video. It's fascinating. I love it. It's a visual thing, very objective. You can see it work. It's not sleight of hand. It's real, and I demand results. I'm not going to uh, try and market something that I don't believe in. But the bottom line, diabetes is a mineral deficiency. We need to get the wisdom out. Go to my website, www.formula. 513.com or you can go to www.myo2meds.com and read about the electrolyte minerals we're marketing. It is our own private brand. <clears throat> we are blessed of God. We're doing something really big, but we want to continue to teach uh, the wisdom about mineral 
replacement. We've never thought about it before in every one of us, whether you urinate, defecate, or perspire. And if you're a woman, if you have a menses, you have lost minerals, you've got to replace them. Take a look at our website. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Feel free to call us at 512-376-2877. I'm Donald Maher, Dr. No Knife. My wife's name's Annette. We're here to help. God bless you.